So we've seen how to open the audio editor, now let's see what we can do with it. First of all, if the view here is too condensed, you can come down to the lower right and use this zoom slider to zoom in or out. And that's really helpful if you have a lot of audio and you need to get kind of a more granular look at specific portions. In fact, if there's a specific section that you want to see really close, what you can do is click and drag to select it and then click zoom selection and that'll give you a nice close-up view of just that bit. And if you ever want to go back to the full view of everything, you can click show all and that's going to kind of reset the view for you. Now if you click in the waveform, like let's just zoom in here a little bit deeper and if I click right here, for example, we'll see this red line appear and that's called the playhead. So now if I click play down here at the bottom, I'm going to hear my audio play from that point. Are you ready to go back to the main menu and choose another topic? And that's really useful if you want to listen to how things sound or if you even want to rearrange things. Like a common task is you might want to get rid of some unwanted sound or you know maybe just change the order of certain bits of audio. So if you click and drag to select something, one thing you can do is hit delete if you want to just get rid of it all together. Or if you want to move it, you can select that portion and then come up to the toolbar and click cut. That's going to remove it from the timeline and copy it to your clipboard. And then you can insert the playhead someplace else and then hit paste to paste that portion of audio. And you can also copy and paste in the same way. You can select some audio, click copy, reposition the playhead, and then hit paste. Another nice feature is you can always insert some silence if you need a little more cushion between words or phrases or sections of audio. Like if I wanted to add you know, maybe some silence right here towards the end of this slide, I could position my playhead, hit silence, and then select how many seconds I want to insert. Let's just say two, and then we hit OK, and there's our two seconds of silence. Another handy tool is the volume control. If you have a little bit of audio that's you know, maybe a little too loud or too soft, what you can do is select that section and then use this volume button and then you can adjust the volume up or down. Like if we wanted this to be maybe you know, about 50% louder, we could move it up, hit OK, and then the waveform changes. It gets a little bigger because now it's a little louder. What about adding more audio? If you want to add some sound at a certain point, you can just position your playhead right where you want it and then hit the record button down here to record some additional sound. And that new sound will be placed right there at the spot that you inserted the playhead. Or you can import sound. This import button here allows you to choose a wave or MP3 file that you have on your hard drive and bring that in. Now in Storyline, QuizMaker, and Engage, when you import, the imported file will drop right where you inserted your playhead, so right where that red line is. In Presenter, though, you'll actually have a few more choices. One choice is you can bring in a single file, and you can choose that and then select your file, and then you'll be able to select, add it to the current position or at the beginning or end of the slide. Or if you want to import multiple files, you can select that. That'll give you a list of all the slides in your course, and then you can select the ones that you want to import sound for, and then you'll be prompted to select your sound files. Keep in mind if you do that though, that there's, if there's existing audio on any of the slides that you're importing to, then that audio will get overwritten with whatever audio you import. Now, speaking of presenter, there are a few other really neat things that you can do in the audio editor. If you've used the sync animations tool in presenter, what you'll see is each animation that you've synced is gonna show up as a little blue dot, like we see right up here at the top of our waveform. And if you want to change the timing of those synced animations, all you got to do is click and drag on that little dot to make the animation start at a different point in your audio. It's really easy. Another handy tool for presenter users is this button that's called Set Next Slide. You can click to insert your playhead anywhere you want, and then if you choose Set Next Slide, watch what happens in this case where the beginning of slide 21 starts. If I click Set Next Slide, it jumps right to where my playhead is, and that's pretty handy. Similarly, you can also just drag the border of any slide and just move it to wherever you want. So you can change where the slide starts or ends. And then one more really awesome feature is you can export audio to use elsewhere. You can just come up to the Articulate button, click that, and then choose Export. And that's true for not only Presenter, but also for Storyline, QuizMaker, and Engage. So have fun working with the audio editor in your Articulate tools. I think you'll find a lot of these features super useful and super convenient as you're building your courses.